What's up guys and welcome to the first ever 7 minute squad builder on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. I'm absolutely buzzing to get this underway guys and what a better way to kick things off with a first owner, Cristiano Ronaldo. I managed to pack two of this guy in the space of one hour. Now if you guys want to see the footage of that, make sure you smash the like button right now. Um, there's two live reactions and then I get a load of other good players in the packs as well. So. I'm initially going to be uploading that on Saturday, but if you want it earlier, smash the like button. But also, smash the like button just because this is the first FIFA 16 Ultimate Team 7 Minute Squad Builder. And last time we managed to smash a load of likes on the FIFA 15 one. Um, and that's almost on half a million views. So if we can get that anywhere near there by the end of FIFA 16, it'd be absolutely insane. I know you guys support this so much. Um, so thank you all so much for the support. There's going to be daily uploads on here, so subscribe if you're new around here. Anyway, let's get straight into this. There's a few changes to the 7-Minute Squad Series. And if you don't know what the 7-Minute Squad Series is about, we basically build one, well, we build a hybrid in 7 minutes. And we have a marquee player that we choose at the start. And then we go ahead and open a pack to grab ourselves a second player. And then we go ahead and get a random formation. And then I start the timer with 7 minutes. Now, basically, because EA have made Legends chemistry a lot less complicated than it was before by allowing Legends to kind of link with every single player. The maximum amount of Legends that you can have in a 7 minute squad team is 2. And also the Legends League doesn't count as a, uh, as a league as well. So if you're including a Legend in your team then you've basically got to go ahead and get 3 other leagues in there as well. A hybrid for this series is classified as 3 leagues and a Legends League doesn't count as one of them. If you don't manage to get um, a player on full chemistry we smash a bronze in there. Uh, you can choose any bronze you want, it's your choice, you can do whatever you want to get full chemistry with your team. And that's it pretty much. Right, let's go ahead and open our first pack. Uh, we're going to be opening them with FIFA points of course, don't want to be wasting any of my precious coins at this early stage. Um, so hopefully we can pick up a decent player, maybe an inform or something like that would be decent. We managed to get manga, we're not going to go ahead and use that, we're just going to go ahead and open a couple of more packs. <laughs> and, and chance our luck. I've got quite a few players in my club, so um, we, we should be able to build a pretty decent team. That's bad again. Come on, Evans. I... What have we got here? De Rossi. Boom. Okay, we'll happily go ahead and use him. Um, he plays for Roma, of course. We managed to get that guy for Lazio as well. Right then, we've got De Rossi. De Rossi is going to be probably a, a deep line midfielder. And hopefully we get a formation with a CDM in it. So, to get the formation, we're going to scroll through them. And I'm going to go 3, 2, 1, stop. There we go, and we are going to be using the 3-4-1-2 formation, and we're going to go ahead and put De Rossi in here right now. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, so it's the club, De Rossi. There we go. We're going to have to apply a CDM to send a mid card on him, and I do have a load in my club. Um, also, I love this suggested feature. I think that's absolutely brilliant the new suggested feature because it kind of makes things a lot more easier than going ahead and uh, having to search through all the different categories to get whatever consumable you want. Right then, we are going to go ahead and start the timer for the first ever FIFA 16 Ultimate Team 7 Minute Squad Builder. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. 3, 2, 1, there we go. The timer has started. Okay, so first player that I want to go ahead and pick up. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I think it'd be stupid if I didn't go ahead and buy Benzema for the striker spot. So let's go ahead and just do that now. So Real Madrid striker. Benzema is about 45k. We've already got him in the club, so that's why I'm basically using him. Is there any Portuguese um, centre mids in the Serie A? Is there any? Oh, there is. Ah, okay, N not really that great though, are they? Uh, is he? Uh, no CDMs, any cams maybe? Any centre forwards which could play in this? No, okay. Okay, okay, we're going to have to look elsewhere. I think, um, right. Centre back, Portugal. Who do I want to go ahead and buy? Pepe, I don't want to buy Pepe. I want to kind of move out of the... Uh, the Liga BBVA. We're going to go ahead and buy Fonte, maybe? Mm. Uh, oh, 
Oh, do we want to buy Fonte? Okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and buy Fonte. There we go. 56 pace. It's probably a bit of a dodgy decision, but, um, I mean, hopefully he's going to do well. Right then. Let's go. Bucks Premier League in goal. We're going to go ahead and buy whatever his name is. I've completely forgotten his name. My mind's gone blank. Forster. Is that his name? Forster. Um, come on. Five minutes and 15 seconds left, and basically, it's frozen. Please don't do this to me. I'm. Oh God, please, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. That already wasted about 10 seconds. Oh, for God's sake, right. Southampton now. Southampton. There we go, goalkeeper. Uh, the Stecklenburg or Forster. Um, I'm going to go with Forster, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go with Forster. Okay, so he has... Oh, he's going to be a pretty decent player anyway. Uh, we've got 4 minutes and 35 seconds left. In fact... No, we're not going to go out and buy Forster. We're going to buy someone else, okay? We are going to buy someone else. Um, just because that's just uh, like... Yeah, it's, not, it's just not going to work. So, we're going to go ahead and buy Ogbonna... Um, add to my transfer targets and then in goal we can go ahead and get Adrian who I well he's not the greatest of players is he really but he should do an okay job in the net for us fingers crossed anyway there we go Adrian a sign now three minutes and 50 seconds left okay what do I want to do with this team what do I want to do what do I want to do? Uh, squads. Squads, 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 squads. Um, okay, so. Do I have Ogbonna in my club? Do I have Ogbonna? Please just tell me I do. No, I flipping don't. Okay. That's not helpful, is it? That is not helpful at all. Let's go ahead and put Fonte in there. Striker, we have got Benzema. Let's go ahead and put him in there. Um, we have got Thingy there. Let's go ahead and search for Adrian just to get him in the team. Uh, where is Adrian? Where is Adrian? Where is Adrian? There he is. Lovely stuff. So, Obonna is going to have full chemistry. He just needs another Italian link. Okay, right. Please, come on. I'm, I'm, this is annoying. As you can see, the loading screen at the bottom right. I can't help this. I'm trying to... Back out of on my team, or back out of my squad thing. This is going to be an annoy. There's been an uh, there's been an error. Sick. Okay, well, I'm going to keep the timer going just because I'm pretty confident that I can finish this team in time anyway. That's just annoying though, isn't it? Cheers, EA. Appreciate it. I thought the servers and everything were supposed to be much better. I thought it was supposed to be fine. Now bots weren't involved in the game, um, and unfortunately the clock is ticking. This ain't good. This is not good at all. Please just get in to Ultima Team. Loading Ultima Team. Come on, come on, come on. That's 20 seconds now wasted. 20 seconds now wasted. I need to think about what I'm doing for the rest of the team. Uh, okay, right. We need Italy. Syria. Italy, Syria. Um, centre mid. So annoying. So annoying. Italy, Syria, centre mid. Uh, we will go ahead and spy Insigne. Whatever. I don't mind. Please stop doing this. Please stop doing this. And then Cam. I need a French Cam, don't I? We'll go ahead and buy Pogba for the Cam. Yeah, Pogba's going to be the centre attacking mid. I don't believe this. I really don't believe this. Anyway, um, we're going to have to do the rest of the team here, I think. Anyway, Insigne is going to be there, like like so, as you've been able to tell. Uh, France, Syria, uh, CDM, please, Pogba, just come up on the screen. I don't care. Please, where are you? There we go. Oh, no, it's not Pogba. This one's Pogba. Add to transfer targets. And then we need, basically, a Spanish centre-back. This could be so frustrating if I can't finish this in time. Really, really, really frustrating. Uh, we need a Barcelona 
League BBVA. League BBVA uh, and then Barcelona centre back. We're going to go ahead and buy Bartra. And then for the right midfield spot, we are going to go ahead and buy uh, Alex Vidal. There we go. And then for the final striker spot, we're going to go ahead and pick up another French guy. Hopefully from the Liga BBVA. I don't know yet because I don't know how many French guys are in there. We'll go ahead and buy Griezmann. Okay? Griezmann is going to be our final player. Maximum thingy in the, in the club or whatever. But there we go. That's the team done. We have got a Barclays Premier League, Liga BBVA and Serie A hybrid. Got there eventually. How frustrating was that though? How frustrating was that? So this is the finished team. As you can see here in goal, we have got Adrian. Three centre-backs, we have got Jose Fonte, uh, Obona and also Bartra. Right midfield, we've got Alex Vidal. Two centre mids there and we've got Insigne and also De Rossi. Looking back on it now, if I'd known Insigne wasn't the default centre mid, I probably wouldn't have used them there. Um, but I reckon he'll do all right there anyway. We've got a little bit of pace in that role. Um, left midfield, obviously, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo. Can we've got Paul Pogba, who I'm so excited to use. As you can see, uh, he's got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. And then up top, we have got Benzema and also Antoine Griezmann. Two absolute gods on the game. Right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's move into a match. Okay then, so this is our opponent. As you can see, he's got a full Serie A side. He's got Digne, uh, he's got Zapata, Insigne, Rossi, Jovetic. They're the players that I kind of know of. Nozzarino as well in the middle, on the well left centre mid roll. That's pretty much all the players that I know, but you never know. These players could actually be pretty decent. Obviously, on paper, we've got the better, better team by far. Um, so hopefully that will that will reflect in the match. Go on. Oh, Pogba. Oh, Pogba. Fuck, man. He flipping ran out two players. Running in between them and everything. Here we go. Beautiful work. Insigne. Oh, he's had a great strike, but he hasn't been able to get on the end of it. And Pogba trying to get the ball to cross it in has put it out of play, so... We haven't even got a corner. Go on. Go on. Oh, yes. Griezmann. Griezmann. Go around the keeper. Okay, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Bang that now. Is that going in? No, it's not going in. Oh, dearie me. No. Yes. Okay, finally got our last. It's cha challenging. This guy's good. This guy's not too bad. Um... I do feel like I should be ahead though. It's the only problem. When you have Ronaldo on your team, you just genuinely feel that you should be in front. But there we go, there are the stats. Four shots, two on target, and he's, um, well, I'm at home, aren't I? I've had four shots, two on target, yes. Okay, so technically, I've been the more dominant of the of the two uh, players, but um, you know, you never know. It's all about taking your chances in these matches. There we go. He's opened the scoring with Jovetic in the 48th minute. Just played the ball straight in. Completely did my defender, Ogbonna, on the turn and slots it in near post. Near post shots are so over the power at the moment. Um, it's just something to watch out on, guys. I couldn't really do anything there, to be honest. Go on. Bang it now. Yes, there we go. We finally got the equaliser. Took about 15 minutes. Um, but Alex Vidal has got through, made a lovely little run, took one touch. As you see, a nice little through ball as well. One touch and then bang, slides it in a sense back into the back of the net. Very decent stuff. Right, come on. This has got to be the comeback. It's got to be on, surely. Go on. Pen. Got to be a pen. Boom. Yes. Straight back into it. Lucas Digne trying to pull back Paul Pogba. What is he thinking? Obviously, Pogba's going to have the dominance over him every single day of the week. Pogba's got a touch and he's gone down. Hopefully, we can get this in the back of the net. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Boom. We have managed to score. It's 2-1 now with about 23 minutes left on the clock. This should be a very, very good ending. Hopefully, I can increase our lead. Um, I've always felt the, the kind of the better player of us both in this match, but it didn't really fall until... Uh, I got that goal just then with Vidal and then we managed to get the penalty 
straight away. So I'm happy with it, to be fair. Oh, why did I let that go in? Why have I let him through then? Insigne, a player which I have on my own team, has done me up there. I, like, sometimes I feel like I just can't change my player. It doesn't let me. But, um, yeah. Here we go. Loads of space. Loads of space. Go on. Get it in the back of the net. Boom. That is 3-2. And that has to be the winner. Paul Pogba creating. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, I could have, I could have probably put it in straight away on the volley, but volleys on this game, I don't know. They seem a little bit iffy, like especially when your balance isn't right and you're running on the ball, it just doesn't seem great. So I didn't want to risk it and not be able to to score. So I had to do that. I'm sorry, guys. So there we go. That is the first episode of the Seven Minute Squad series landed with a win. There we go. If you guys want to know the kit as well. Uh, I don't actually know, so I know there's going to be a load of people asking in the comment section below what kit that is. I think it's Rayo Vallecano, um, like third kit or something, but if you guys want to know, uh, I'm sure someone will know that's watching this video and they'll put it in the comment section below. If you guys could help me out of that, that'd be amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you are new around here. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like on it. Um, and if you want to see another 7 Minute Squad Builder on Saturday... Saturday, let me know and uh, I'll get that sorted for you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.